All right, just packing up, making sure we've got everything. We are on our way to Hong Kong. Our flight is late at night, so it's 7.30, it's around uh, five-ish now or something, so we'll head out soon, get to the airport. Um, yeah, weird, haven't had a nighttime flight in a very long time. Had early morning flights, but not a nighttime flight. Which lands us in Hong Kong around 10 past 11. We've got to get to our place at night in Hong Kong. That should be exciting and fun. That's so all I'm taking. I did do a packing video and of course I missed loads out of it and it was a bit of a rush and I'm super sorry about that. Um, but yes, I'll link that up so you can have an idea of what I've got going on in there. You got airport? A320 aircraft. Flight U0754 from Chiang Mai to Hong Kong. A special welcome to our loyalty program reward you. We will be earning valuable points on today's flight. Officially made it to Hong Kong. A little bit tired, not a bad flight. Let's see if we can get to the apartment now. from the airport and we're going to go to our apartment now. We're meant to have the correct change. We did not know that. Now we do. Uh, they also don't take money out of your hand. We did have a card. A man gave us like an Optimus card or whatever it's called but they left it at home. Hello, new home. Look at that, a high bed. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> so this is the view from the balcony. Just going to our Airbnb. Nice. So these are the digs for the next four nights. Give you a proper rundown in a minute. Just gonna look at the view for a little while. Oh yeah. All right, TV, cupboards. This is really swanky. Compared to the other places we saw on Airbnb, Kettle, like to see that. Pans, chopsticks, all sorts of good stuff in there. Fancy sink. Ooh, now this is a rare find on Airbnb to have a separate shower. Wow. Normally it's literally just a sink and the shower hook is like here and you basically have to sell the toilet to shower in most of the places we saw, so that's nice. All right, so I'm gonna see you in the morning where the vlog will take a definite different turn. Shall be way more exciting. I will see you in the morning. Ah. This is the apartment in all of her glory with the blinds up. Alright, so we got ourselves ready to go out and explore this city and I'm going to give you a little bit of a fact from a very reliable source, Wikipedia. So Hong Kong has 7,829 high-rise buildings. Of those, 1,294 stand taller than 100 metres and 315 stand over 150 metres. So, you know, pretty subtle city. Excited, let's go. So this over here is Hong Kong Island. Okay, How much is on that already? Ah, this way is right on for credit and 50 for deposit. Okay. Give it to me, see if you can check it. Basically, we've come to a Middle Eastern Indian cuisine kebab place because we're in an area that is so expensive to eat. Like, over 10 pounds a meal for lunch. 
so we've just kind of found this place we're gonna go like I'm gonna get a falafel wrap just to fill us up and then hopefully figure it out well, obviously in the worst area possible for cheap food so hopefully we'll hit some markets up tonight and over the next few days and get some cheap food because I've heard so much about the Chinese food here that I'm so excited but for now falafel shops perfect thank you so we are sufficiently fueled up <clears throat> and we're going to go and try and find the peak tram and go and get a good view of Hong Kong. I feel much better now I've eaten. Yeah, crazy city, like nuts. Absolutely insane. I like it though. Getting good vibes from Hong Kong. I like it. So big though. Oh my god. say I'm really enjoying Hong Kong like really yeah I got good vibes from it as soon as we got to the airport um, and then today it is manic it's a lot to take in in the city whether like coming up and seeing just thousands of skyscrapers is insane it would be actually very interesting now to go and visit New York as it has like under half of what Hong Kong has or something stupid um, but yeah it's weird being up here because it's really peaceful and then looking down there where all the chaos is yeah definitely recommend this definitely recommend coming up on the Pika tram $40 40 Hong Kong dollars so can't go wrong that's for a return as well yeah I think we're gonna go and grab a coffee enjoy a bit more of the view take it easy take it in and I need coffee let's be real a day is not a day without an extra cup of coffee <laughs> Massive. It's, I mean, it's just ridiculously hard. I'm just gonna roll with it. Enjoy the view. <laughs> so it looks like you can walk it if you don't want to spend the money. But the map's at the top of the hill. Just let you know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head back now to Central, go over to the other mainlandy bit, not Hong Kong Island, back over, find a supermarket, grab some food for the next few days, just so we got some nibbles, because the place is expensive as hell. And then I think we're gonna go home, edit a little bit of this video up, and then tonight we're going to the market and get some food. I'm so tired. <laughs> also, as I showed, the price is going up on the 1st of September to $45 instead of 40, and just a little hint, sit on the right of the tram. One other thing, I love these skinny trams. They're so thin. Back to the apartment now. Is it um, level four? Huh? Why is it no level four? Dun dun dun! <laughs> kind of at that perfect level of tired, do you know what I mean? Like the beautiful tired when you go yeah, where you've been exploring all day and your legs are really hurting, but this feels like this lens feels like it's zoomed in. I felt that for the past couple of days. Try carrying around fucking gallons of water, have you? No, I will not. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get on and start editing this vlog and I will catch up with you later when we're gonna go to the market, eat some food, see what the crack of is, only like a couple of roads down. So yeah, oh, what a day, we'll debrief later. I'm gonna chill now. Guys, can I just talk about the shower I just had? Oh my God. Okay, so in Chiang Mai, cause it's really hot and sticky, like all the time, um, we don't have hot showers. And plus it saves a lot on electricity because having hot showers, yeah. There's, there's heaters not pretty on the electricity bill so I always have a cold shower always and this shower head is like a fountain head it's like someone has got the perfectly hot water and they're just basically 
dropping it constantly on your head. It's not like sharp, it's very powerful. It's just like buckets of water, like, whoa. Could have stayed in there for hours. I, st I stayed in there for ages. I didn't want to get out. Also, I'll show you the shampoo for a reason. Oof a bit. So that's the culprit. Um, and this shampoo, oh my God. It's like silk bubbles. If we didn't come with hand luggage only, I swear to God, I'd be stocking up on that shampoo. I don't know why it's so nice. We'll see what it's like when my hair's dry, but big fluffy towel. Today's vlog has been edited. Obviously, I'm gonna have to add all this and a bit of music. Let's have a little light in here. Um, but yeah, sun's pretty much going away now. Gonna get ready, gonna go out to the market soon. And all right, so we got temple trousers and a tank top, and I'm kind of just gonna leave this down and kind of see what happens, I don't know. All right, all ready and willing, let's go to these markets and see where the crack lack is. They're only like two rows down from us and they're like the Temple Street markets. They run till like midnight, so it's nice and dark now. Let's hope it's all lit up and busy. Absolutely amazing. I went for um, a vegetable hot pot. Scott went for steak and pepper sauce. Okay, so we went to get food and we thought we'd walk back down to the harbor. Oh my god, to see the skyline all lit up. These are genuine reactions. <sighs> ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Colors bouncing in the water. Guys, this is so beautiful. Look at that one sticking up. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ten percent top Japan flights. <laughs> Every time. How many times have I vlogged you winning stuff? All right, so we got back. We're currently doing some editing. I want to try and get as much of this video edited so we can go out tomorrow. Doing some photos. Oh my god, what a day! Absolutely exhausted, but in all the good ways. And I don't mind that when I'm exhausted in the good ways. But I just hope I can hold out to edit this video. I really like Hong Kong. Um, I am going to be doing, of course, my How Expensive Is Hong Kong video, which I'll do when I get back to Thailand, and then I'll run through like all the expenses I've had to face. This is an expensive city. And don't let anyone tell you any different. So today we went, like, we doubled our budget almost. Um, went way over. So it's a learning experience, but... It's fun and it's all right. We've been pretty good in Thailand. We haven't been spending a lot of money, so it's all right. Um, and the more mistakes I make, the less you have to. <laughs> That's one way we should look at it. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking Hong Kong. I've really had a good time today. 
and hopefully tomorrow will be just as good. So tune in then for another vloggity 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 vlog. And yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to crash now. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that safe travel links are down there. And I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe because we have fun here. All right. Good night.